Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening in the last episode. Uh, we got all of the children. The children that came from the future with Lucina, who was also a child from the future. Uh, to recap a little bit, uh, we got word that the Vaughn were planning an invasion. So we went to stop them halfway through on the sea. We blew up their boats. We took one of their harbors, and now... We are going to try and find the avatar of the of the divine dragon Naga at the Myla Tree. Let's go ahead and start this chapter. Chapter sixteen: Naga's voice. <sighs> Whoa! I don't think I've ever felt so small. Mm. I can't even see the top of it. I see. Most impressive indeed. So the shrine hides all the way up in its branches. Right. I sir. A great staircase inside the trunk leads up to it. However, the, the Empire has closed off the only route to the steps. Or perhaps, routes to the steps, I should say. Eh, <laughs> punster. Then we'll, then we'll just have to break through. Come! Then we'll just have to break through. Alright. So... I think it's time that the children... took their place in the spotlight here. And I'm pretty sure I got all of them in there. All of the... Yep, all of the children, plus... Plus Krom. Krom, the eternal third wheel, uh, third wheel there. Okay, so let me just check. Ooh, I forgot we had supports. Uh, let's go ahead and do those before we, uh, we continue on. Inigo and Na. Ooh. <sighs> You didn't have to yell like that. A simple no would have sufficed. Ah oh, well, plenty of fish in the sea. Huh? Still haven't learned your lesson, I see. No one has ever won a woman's heart through through cap capitulation. <sighs> or creepiness. How do you not surrender after being turned down so many t this many well. times? It's who I am. Flirting is in my blood. I'm constitutionally incapable of not talking to beautiful women. <sighs> I'm wasting my breath trying to convince you with words. I suppose I'll have to eat you and be done with it. <laughs> oh, what a wit. What a razor sharp, um, wit. You know, I really wish you wouldn't tell jokes with a straight face like that. So... Honestly, I don't see why you need to ask women out at all. You're handsome enough. If you kept your mouth shut, they'd come to you. Huh? Who would even know to look for me if I didn't put myself out there? <laughs> well, me for one. I imagine I could find you tolerable, uh, tolerable if you stopped talking. <sighs> ah, the sweet naivete of youth. You're too young to be worrying about other people's affairs of the heart, nah. But I'm sure you'll find someone perfect once you're older. Now, why don't you run, run along and see if Uncle Crom will read you a bedtime story? Ooh. Get back here, you idiot! Manicates grow slowly! I'm the same age as you! <clears throat> Aw, love blooming. Radiant Cynthia's S rank, ooh. Brady? Huh? What's wrong, Cynthia? Yeah, see, I owe you an apology. What? Why? Right. Lissa told me. I mean, the truth, I mean. Oh. She did what? Then you... Yep. Know that it was you who helped me out all those times? Yes, I know. Yeah. I told her not to say anything! Why'd she have to open her big yap? That's not her fault, really. I started quizzing her about all her secret hero, hero moves and she just cracked. Yeah. You see, she did open her yapper then. Well, I'm gonna have a few words with that stool pigeon. Honestly, it's your fault for picking her. I mean, she's not exactly the type to take secrets to the grave, is she? Yeah, maybe not. So I just wanted to know why, Brady. Why be be my anonymous savior? Oh, horse pucky. I ain't nobody's savior. I just couldn't stand to watch you charging around all reckless and stuff. You were bound to get hurt, and I couldn't bear to see it. You're like a little sister to me, Cynthia, you know? A sister? Oh, that's unfortunate. See, I don't think of you as a brother. Huh? Um, yeah, well, you know what? Just forget I ever said. Yeah, I was glad when I heard it was you. I like you, Brady. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Knowing the man that I, I like had been watching over made me, well, it made me happy. I'm sorry, Cynthia, I... No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I don't know, say all that, I guess. Oh, no, Cynthia, all that sister stuff was a bunch of hooey. I'm crazy for you, always have been. That's why I shouted you. I mean, sure, I wanted to keep you safe, but I mostly just wanted to be near you. I didn't have the guts to say it. Oh, thanks. Whoa, this is the best day ever. I get the real answer to the mystery, plus the guy I like. 
Yeah, it's a pretty good day for me, too. Hey, hey, I think they're too young to marry, but dating is good. And finally, Morgan and Lucina. <laughs> da -da -dee -do -da -da -da. Perfect, I got the, my melody nailed down. What are you doing, Morgan? What's all the humming about? Oh. oh, you heard that, did you? So you recall the flowers I gave you, the ones from that village? Well, in return for the flowers, I sang the kids a song I'd written. They really seemed to enjoy it, so I thought maybe I'd try my hand at writing more. Perhaps I could sing for the camp if I get good enough. Well... I'm sure you would, they would welcome the distraction from fighting and marching and fighting. I think it's a lovely idea. What? Yeah? Well, alright then, I guess I better get cracking. You're always full of energy, aren't you? How do you manage to act so cheery all the time? Uh... It's not an act, I just do what comes naturally. And it's like I said before, when you can't remember anything, everything's brand new! There's so much out there to discover. I don't have time to get depressed. No, wait. I'm certain I, w I wouldn't be half so happy if I were, were I in your situation. I think your sunny disposition must be some fundamental part of your nature. I think it's wonderful. Well... Hmm, I couldn't say. But isn't being in this era a pretty good deal for you two? All I've heard about our era are tales of death and starvation and a whole lot of bad yes. stuff. It was a terrible place, yes. Which means all more hangs in the balance of, uh, of our success or failure. If we lose, this world will become the awful future we escaped. The very idea haunts my nights. You can do this. Well, that won't do it all. A warrior needs her sleep. You're a brilliant fighter and leader, but you can't shine from, from inside a gloomy cloud. I'm so sorry. You're right, of course. I'm sorry, Morgan. I don't really want to spread my dark cloud over I've others. Got your back. Think nothing of it. I'm always help, happy to help find a silver lining. Aww. A downer and a ray of sunshine. All right, let's go ahead and optimize. So let me just go over a few things real quick. So first of all, yarn upgraded warrior because I don't have one in my party. Really good. Level 15 gets counter. Any physical strikes that I take, I deal the damage straight back to my opponent. Owen is now an assassin because I have a ton of sword masters. Jerome is a griffin rider because he wanted to set Minerva free. And he goes a hero because what lady doesn't love a hero? Lauren is a dark knight. I don't know why he just is. Noir is a sniper because archery, duh. All right, so now we have all of them. Who do we want to pair up? We already got Lucina and Morgan, so let me see if I can get them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you and I combine? Uh, let's have to go here, and then let's see. Jerome. We got Brady. Brady and Cynthia are already two peas in a pod. Where is Cynthia? There she is. Uh, let's see. There, Yeah, there's Yarn, and there's Jerome. So let's see. Let's move... How about Noir and Yarn? That's, that seems like a good combo. Uh, I wanted Owain and Severa. Uh, is that an Ego? Yeah, Nan and Nego will be fine. Uh, I think I think Jerome and Kiel are going to end up single because I can't think of any other women. Let me see. Let me see if I got everybody. Noir, Cynthia, Lucina, Na, Severa. That leaves, yeah, that leaves, uh, that leaves, uh, let's see, Laurent, oh no, wait, Kiel, what am I saying, uh, how about Kiel and Laurent, and then we'll have the Batman go on his, on his lonesome, all right, let me sure, let me make sure everyone's got equipment, oh, this might go very, very badly, so as always, we're gonna save, all right, let's do it. So oh, they arrive at last, oh what? Yes, come closer, said the hairy spider to the flies. General Cervantes, Lord Excellus, uh, was right. The Elysian League approaches. Ah. Are you daft, boy? Did you not hear what I was just saying? Yes, sir. A thousand pardons, sir. Hmm. Hmm. They must have some skill to make it this far. But no matter. We will show them the meaning of the word fear. Huh? The meaning of beard, sir? Uh, yes. I'm sure they would be most impressed, but perhaps... Fear, you deaf ignoramus! Fear! Y yes, sir. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> they are impressive, though, aren't they? My whiskers? Ha <laughs> ha! I have not shaved since my very first battle, and I have not lost. No, not even once. Ego, my moustache makes me invincible. It's science, my boy! Science! That was the end of that conversation. Alright, so we're gonna... Oh, God. I don't know if you guys can see this. Maybe it might... It might look different in the actual recording, but when I scroll, 
There's like a horizontal line that appears on the screen, and I don't know what causes that. I really want to fix it. All right, Yarn and Noir. The Brady Bunch. Uh, Luke and uh. Nah. Uh, Crom can go with Batman. Owain to Severa. Kiel to Laurent. Alright, let's start. Let's start on this, shall we? Uh, are there any archers around? I see thieves. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, let's have Laurent come over here, and uh, why don't we have him get a little bit of training in with that bronze sword? Let's go. Let's go. Alright. No, no help from Kiel, unfortunately. Uh, let's bring these two up here. Let's actually switch and let's get Owain some uh, practice with that bow that he's got. Here comes trouble. Take a knife. Snap! I could have stayed home. Oh. Oh, and you're supposed to be uh, some kind of hero. What do you mean you could have stayed home? Uh, let's see some noir action here. Get her on the, uh, on the, uh, some of these, uh, flyers. Oh, snap! Lethality! Thank you, guys, for being such a great assassin. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and actually switch out to Brady, because Brady could use more experience, honestly. Iron Axe! Who do you think you are? Ha-ha! The Hubsend and wife go together. Two peas, a pod. Wetting the... I don't know. Um, let's get... Oh, that's Jerome. Let's get Na up here and then switch to... I can't switch there. Can I switch here? Yes, I can. Let's get Inigo some, some uh, fighting combat prowess with an axe! Inigo was one of my was one of my best in my personal file. Oh my god, Astra? He only needs one hit! And he got a critical from one of them! Anyway, uh, Inigo was one of my best in my personal file because he was the son to, um... Oh, what's his name? He was son to... Donald. So when you have that going for you, Really good. Uh... Now that I think about it with the children, like, paralogs and all that jazz, there are going to be more paralogs that we're going to cover later on. So we got the... was it a... is that a warrior? We're going after Brady. Get... yeah, they're get busy living or get busy dying, says Brady. I don't think this is gonna go well for anybody. Why do you were asking if Minerva was the, uh... Or no, when I was streaming one night, someone, someone kept asking if, uh, if, uh, Jerome was Batman, then is Minerva, uh, the Batmobile, and no, that wouldn't be right. Uh, Minerva would be the Batwing. Uh, let's get Noir up here. Fire away! <laughs> Yarn. Vengeance. What did Vengeance do? It created one hell of an echo, that's for sure. What the heck was that? I should probably switch out to Yarn at some point so we can actually see his moves. Uh, let's get Laurent over. Let's get Laurent over here and then switch to Kiel. General Kiel! Alright, and then we got. Is that. That's Jerome, okay. Let's fly over this way and switch to Krom. Let's bring these two. Let's bring a berserker up here, and let's bring our assassins crude up here, and let's shoot him. Go, Wayne, oh Wayne! Aha! Invincible. The hero goes for the stuck-up princess. <laughs> Power surging uncontrollably. Oh, Owain. All right, let's get a Nigo up here. Let's start axe raiding. Nigo's our axe raider. Ah, they're getting along just fine. 
All right, luck is on my side tonight. Luck is on my side tonight. Enemy phase, let's go! <laughs> you expect to hear, hear it, yeah. Hurt Kiel. Kiel's invincible. Except the mages. But the Valm don't really specialize in magic now, do they? Oh, snap! Great! Aether! Oh, Kiel. I'll not settle for this, but it's a start. Always working hard, that Kiel. Going for, ooh. One bow to another, huh? Aha! Ha ha! Got a master seal. Ooh! All right, Kiel's fine. They're going after Brady! I like how Cynthia's like, just try me, and yet Brady's the one taking the brunt of it all. La da la da. Ting, 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 ting. Oh. Am I dreaming here? Brady's got some pretty balanced moves. Ooh, a men's staff. He's already got one in his uh, equipment, but. I love how. I love when the enemies try to take him from a, from a distance. Oh, dear. Did she get vengeance twice in a row? Good lord. Oh no, you know what? Vengeance uh, takes damage dealt and deals it right back, but she hasn't taken any damage yet, so it didn't matter. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes! Come reinforcement, said the spider to the, the other spiders. Alright, and with that, next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we're gonna finish this chapter right quick because this is a cakewalk compared to those paralogues. See you all then!